Hi everyone. Um, now I'm back. Same spot. Second later. Um, recording this. Um, so this is just, this isn't a life update. So when I do my life updates, you know how I do them. I, they're usually like two hours long. This new life update, or this update is just kind of an update on some stuff that's happening very soon in my life. Um, where I kind of want to take the channel at this point because I was off, I was offline from uploading two and a half years, over two and a half years. My last video was January 2020, before the pandemic, before my mom, cancer came back, before my mom passed away, before anything. And before that, my latest video, my last video was in May of 2018. So, there's been big gaps. Um, first thing I'm planning is I'm going to, um, just I'm going to post once a week maybe sometimes twice I had that schedule a long time ago and it worked it worked I'd post I think it was every Tuesdays and Thursdays or something like that um and again it was it was nice I enjoyed that schedule cuz I didn't feel pressured to upload a million videos at once and or and I, and I didn't feel overwhelmed after I had uploaded them um, like I said like I I haven't posted on a regular basis since 2017 um, my channel was only up a year and a half give or take um, man was it even a year and a half I don't know, 2016, 2017, I posted a lot. Um, then in the spring of 2017, I kind of stopped and because I was dealing with some mental health issues. Um, it had been years since my abusive ex went to jail. Um, it had been, and since it had been a year, a lot was playing on my mind. Like it was my fault, like things were my fault and how I just, I was falling into a really deep depression. My night terrors were getting worse, isolating myself more and more. Um, issues with my roommate at the time and just, it wasn't a very good atmosphere and wasn't a good time. So I know a lot of people were pressuring me to make the video I posted five years ago that I still haven't watched, still haven't rewatched. I will never, probably never rewatch it was me talking about being raped on um, the first first occasion first occasion when I was drugged at a nightclub and then my abusive ex Johnny. Um, and yeah, that was the video is what sent me over the edge because nobody people knew but not those close to me like my mom didn't know when I was speaking with them. my dad didn't know my brother didn't know my grand my aunts a lot of people did not know and that video was their first time finding out so there's a lot of people upset there was a lot of people who like reached out and was just really supportive There's always those negative buttons like, oh, you did this for attention, just yada, yada, yada. But yeah, that was basically the end of me posting full time. Um, and after that, um, I posted a life update several months later about how what I was diagnosed with and all that. And then I took a break after that. And then in 2018, I, it was like May, right after my breast augmentation surgery, um, I started um, filming again. Because there was a lot of exciting stuff going on. There was a lot of topics I was really excited about, future surgeries. And there was just a lot going on. 
Um, and I just I had so many ideas. My mind was going. My mind was racing. It was just like yada 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 yada. Um, and then my mom got cancer, and that changed my atmosphere. I went down a dark path, and well, recording wasn't exactly the biggest priority in my life. So I went on a hiatus. And I think, I don't think I uploaded it after, at all after that until early 2020. So yeah, yeah, because I was gone a year and a half. Um, wait. In 2019, I think I filled some videos about animals. About some of the animals I had at the time. Um, so that, I think there's some videos up there about, I think there's one about back water reptiles um but big thing is um so i again i stopped posting regularly basically until 2020 and that was my last video well, it was january of 2020 it was a life update that was i think almost two hours long i talked about my mom's cancer i talked about a whole plethora of stuff um, but, like I said, I, I'm, I'm going to go back to basics. Like I said, that's been my history of the posting the last couple of years. Um, this is something I enjoyed so much. I enjoyed sharing my life. I enjoyed sharing stories. I enjoyed sharing my transition. I enjoyed the once a week, um, videos. I enjoyed the once and twice a week videos when I used to upload them like that. Um, it was just fun. And I, I looked at this as an owl. This was like a therapy to me. I got so excited and I'm, I'm excited again. Like I've been lacking a lot of motivation the last several months. Mental health hasn't been at an all time high. It's been sort of an all time low, but, um, yeah, anyways, um, that'll be in a life update talking about mental health. That's a different video. So, um, some of the exciting things coming. Um, so I talked talk about plans for the channel. And I'm going to talk about some very exciting news. And exciting things that are on the horizon. And more that will hopefully be on the horizon after next Thursday. Um, so, I've been off my hormones for, crap, I was off them around a year, and I was on them basically full time from 2016 when I first got put on them until 2018, and then I... I don't know what happened, one thing or another, but I don't have my hormones anymore. I didn't have my hormones anymore. Um, I think it was something to do with insurance, or I just stopped going. But then in 2018, um, I saw my doctor for the first time in a long time. My um, Dr. Joanne Goodall. Yeah, there's a video of her on my channel from way, way back when. Um, so, I got back on him in 2019, and then I had a good job at the time, and I, I forgot I still had Medicaid, um, and they took my insurance away, saying I made too much money. So, it's just like, oh, okay. I had been on hormones a month at that point, back on hormones in a month at that point, so it's just like, cool, whatever, this is what it is. Um, so, 2020, I, in a psych ward for the first time in a long, long while, again, that, that will be part of a life update, um, I, they set me up with somebody who was a pediatrician, who, my old doctor was also a pediatrician, um, 
Back in 2019, how old was I? 23? Or no, 2020, how old was I? It's 24. 24. 20. 20. Um, so they set me up with a doctor, and she got me started back on my hormones. Um, I was on them for a couple months, and then my mom's cancer treat cancer started getting worse. She started chemo again, something we never thought we'd have to deal with again. Um, and my mental health just took a nosedive, and I stopped putting myself first, my, oh, my health. Like I stopped, I stopped, I stopped prioritizing my health. Hold on. Okay, now that the dirt bike's gone, um, I, Stop prioritizing my health because I was like my mom's health matters more um, so like I started helping take care of her and then eventually I moved in with her um, and then she passed away like, and like for those wondering what happened like if you're not like a regular follower or you don't know me I'm gonna make a video in very detail about just what happened to her because me and her always talked about making a video, a cancer video for, about her journey for YouTube. We never got that chance. So I'm gonna do my best justice to try to explain the best I can. She was, she had a way with words. So the way she explained things were just, was great. So, Long story short, I haven't been on my hormones in a long time. Um, I found, from 2020, I found the full pres second prescription bottle of the spironolactone, which is a testosterone blocker, and um, my, a full bottle of estradiol that I took over the last couple months, and I finished. Um, so technically, I've been on hormones, but technically not. Um, they were like an old prescription. Um... Um, so, next Thursday, September 15th, I think it is, I get back on hormones for the first time in a long time. I'm seeing my first endocrinologist that is not a, pedi a pediatrician, um, because, like, so when I saw Dr. Joanne Goodall, he, you were with, like, you know, like, the health thing, you're able to see a pediatrician up until your 26th birthday, and then that is it, you are done, you need a new doctor. I'm um, Joanne Goodall. I stopped going to a couple years ago just because I moved to West Virginia. I got West Virginia um, insurance. After, after mom, I had good insurance, so I can go either place. But after my mom passed, I got West Virginia insurance, and that's what I still currently have. Um, so, like, my insurance, like, have to... Um, have to get everything done in West Virginia, which is which is fine. Dirty Medicine, I go to either Dirty Medicine or Mon General. A lot of times, Review Medicine. But um, anyways, so I'm seeing my new, saw my new PCP. I am seeing my new pediatrician or new endocrinologist next week. Um, we already got a fresh out of lab from about months ago, so lab work shouldn't need, be needed. Um, and I can get started on my hormones, which will be huge for me will be huge in a sense of just changes again um, you'll probably get another round of those like this time it won't be like five months on HRT it'll be five months re-RT HRT or something I don't know how I'll word the series but you'll you'll get updates because again I haven't taken them steadily in a long time, so a whole bunch of changes again. Um, and the big thing that's going to come out of that is my PCP. I mentioned it to her. 
and she sent out a message and I she said I'll get more information out of my PC my endocrinologist next week um that my I haven't had bottom surgery as you know um if you don't know I haven't um my um Year, a couple years ago, I got breast augmentation, but I haven't had the SRS yet. Um, and I, for a long time, I didn't know where to go. Um, back in like 2016, I had my heart set on um, going to see Dr. Lay and Dr. Meltzer. They're located out in Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, and at that time, I was on hormones four months, something like that. Um, and I got a settlement from an old job. And I, it was enough I could have used, um, I could have paid for almost all the surgery. But I ran into the roadblock that you had to be on hormones a year. Now I think it's going to be a little bit different because I have been on hormones for a year in my life. It's just I have been on them regularly in a couple of years. So I don't know what that's going to mean. hope it doesn't really mean anything. So I think it'll be different this time around. But what I'm getting at is um, bad day to film on the porch. Um, anyways. So, there's a chance that there's a doctor in Morgantown, where I live, that can um, do the surgery. My PCP knows for a fact he does top surgery, and he does a facial feminization surgery, which, are, which is another surgery that I'm going to talk to them about, because I know some insurances pay for more surgeries than others. So I'm going to talk to them about getting my facial feminization surgery. I'm going to talk to them about electrolysis because I know that has been covered under insurance for YouTubers I've watched before. Um, they put you under anesthesia and they just go to town with um, whatever, I don't even remember what I just said about um, the hair removal, whatever the hell it's called, electrolysis. Um, but the big one, the SRS. That will be the biggest surgery of my life and it will be the biggest blessing in my life because I will feel at home in my own skin finally. I'm halfway there. Um, I wear a lot of baggy clothes because sometimes tucking is hard and tucking hurts tremendously. So, um, Sometimes I just wear baggier clothes so I don't have to tuck. And, like, I have, like, I love, like, tight clothes on me. Like, when I say tight clothes, I mean, like, leggings and yoga pants and just stuff like that. Stuff that just is so comfortable, like, down, like, waist down comfortability is what I'm talking about. Um, I will feel so much more at home in my skin. So that's a big thing coming. This video, this video is probably going to be titled... Uh, my decision on future of the channel and surgery, yada yada yada. Um, so yeah, that's I find out next Wednesday, next Thursday, everything about the hormones when I get started on them. Hoping it's next week. I'm hoping they don't want to do lab work and then move me on. And then wait to my next appointment for me on hormones. I hope it's just, they looked at the labs from back in June. Not much has changed. Yes, I took those medications that I found. My old, my old hormones that I found, they were from like 2020. I took them over the last couple months. Um, but, yeah, I find out about my hormones. I'm hoping I get back on the dose I was on, which was 8 milligrams of estradiol and... 300 milligrams of the spironolactone. Um, I'm hoping um, 
the doctor is able to do the surgery and I can get an appointment with him. If not, then I'm, I know she will be able to point me in the right direction of a surgeon that will, if he's in the state or if I do have to travel, we'll go from there. But hopefully, my, right now my fingers are crossed on the surgeon from Morgantown being able to do the surgery. Like I said, one surgery at a time, I'm gonna mention a couple, but again, there's one surgery at a time and this is, this is the big one for me. You can never stop it. There's an endless amount of surgeries, like surgeries I'd like to get, I've mentioned in the past. Um, um, the facial feminization surgery, because um, they also like do like, you can also do a hair implant. And um, on my father's side, there is hereditary hair loss. And like I have a receding hairline right here. Um, so, which is a lot of reasons why I've done bangs so many times over the last year to kind of like help just bring the hair down and like it covers that. Um, and like when my hair's like this, it covers it too. But my hair goes in very thin on this side compared to this side. Um, facial feminization surgery, the SRS, electrolysis isn't really surgery, but, um, and then the final one would be, um, get my vocal cords tightened because that, when I was on my hormones, my voice wasn't super feminine, but it was not as deep as it is now. Sometimes it like reverts back to almost how I sounded when I was a guy. Um, so I'm hoping, yeah, I'm hoping that this, I'm hoping that this future, possible future surgery as well. Like I said, I don't know. The girl I know who, used to, who got it done, she got it done in Seoul, South Korea. Don't know if I want to go that far, but we shall see. Maybe someone here in the States can do it. Alrighty, everyone. I've talked to you all for this one enough. Um, I will be back in a little bit. And when I am back in a little bit, I will be doing a life update and a video about my mom. And all these will be going up simultaneously tonight. So I'm recording these. It is, I do believe, September 9th. Yes, yeah, September 9th. Friday, September 9th, 2022. They will be going up tonight. So, yeah. I will see you all later on. Au revoir.